we have made a lot of uh, uh, improvement on deployment of systems and deployment of improvement centers all around the country. Right now we have about 250 enrollment centers spread across the whole of Nigeria. And we commenced enrollment in 2012, as you are well aware, sir. In 2013, in October 17, 2013, we enrolled Mr. President, and at that point, he launched, officially launched the new enrollment. And at that launching, he gave the commission a mandate to enroll all Nigerians into the National Identity Database by 31st of December 2014, which is the end of this year. Based on that, sir, we are deploying, like I told you, systems to all local governments in the country, all seven, 774 local governments in the country. And I'm happy to inform you, sir, that we already have enrollment centers in nine local governments in Niger State. Out of these nine, three are already functional. We were at the national, at the NAF base, MENA. We have concluded enrollment of the personnel and the families of the NAF base, and we have decommissioned that center. Now we have a center in the um, um, state headquarters, which is opposite the state secretariat. We have a center here now, and we have one at Chanchaga um, local government area. I want to acknowledge, sir, your immense contributions to the commission over time. We have local government offices in every local government area of Niger State, provided by the government of Niger State. We have Thank you. We have a um, local government set up to commence enrollment. Nine local governments are already at the verge of commencing enrollment. We also have special registration centers in a number of places in Niger State. But like I told you, the uh, um, Excellency, the, the uh, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, gave the commission in mandate to enroll all Nigerians by the end of December 2014. And because of that, we need the cooperation, we need the assistance of every state government, every stakeholder agency. My space for us, we have deployed to their uh, compound, we have deployed to their offices, we have offices, enrollment centers in the federal inland revenue services, we have in the NAF base, we have in the prison, the immigration, we are collaborating with all the stakeholder agencies. It is all towards the realization of the mandate given to the Commission by His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I sit beside you this morning, sir, to acknowledge respectfully the contribution that you have made to us. But like a proverbial Oliver Twist, I still sit here to implore Your Excellency, the Chief Servant, to still come to the aid of the Commission in making sure that this mandate that is given to us that we deliver on it, we cannot do it alone. We need spaces in more local governments. There are 25 local government areas in Niger State. We need enrollment centers in every one of them. And we need the, the facilities, the infrastructure. We are deploying the systems. It is necessary, it is very, very crucial and critical that we have space to deploy these systems and enrollment centers so that we can enroll Nigerians. Because at the end of the mandate that the President has given to the Commission, there is going to be a regulation which is going to say that if you do not possess the national identification number of, that is issued by the National Identity Management Commission, you will not be able to access a lot of public um, facilities, and the privileges and services. And to be able to make sure that everybody benefits from this, we do not want anyone at the end of the day to be disenfranchised. So we are deploying the systems to take it closer and closer to the people. We have mobile enrollment buses that we use to locations that are not easily accessible to highly populated areas. We are also deploying mobile enrollment units that are not in buses, one man, um, one or two man enrollment centers who move from place to place to enroll people. We thank God that you have come here to enroll today. Your Excellency Sir, the Chief Servant of Niger State, I have the honor and the great privilege to inform you this morning that you are the first Executive Governor to enroll into Everyone is aware of your immense contribution to the state. Everyone is aware of your immense contribution.
not one federal government agencies in the state. And we know how much you have collaborated and cooperated with our state coordinator in this year. The reception you gave to her, even as you gave, showed how much you take this project. And we want to congratulate all inspectorate and regulatory and compliance to carry on from there. Your Excellency, sir, my name is Cecilia. We should expect and what every Nigerian should expect from us. This is a copy of the card that you eventually get. We will present them once we know the Excellency of the President. This is what the card looks like. It's a general multiple card. We call it general multiple rules because it has a lot of things involved in it. It's not only an identity card, it's a payment card. And it has an appellate, the chip here contains an appellate where you can have your driver's license information, NHIS information, pension information, and uh, you can even have your uh, travel document information and register your voters registration information in this appellate. So it's a one in all card that we're going to issue. So I just wanted you to have a feel and a look of it. What we are issuing you today is the links. We are going to launch the card. It's printed and tested all over the world. You can do uh, payment transaction with the cash as a debit card all over the world. We tested it. We tested all the features we have in the card. Thank you, sir. Like I told you, there were times when I was almost tempted to enter the headquarters. I said, why are they registering my citizens without registering me first? <laughs> then they kept telling me, oh, I should wait. I waited, and today has come. I have had this card at one time, but that has been cancelled. I was still keeping it. Because having a national identity card is very important for the person and for the nation. The individual will use it anywhere as his main identity card. It is not everywhere that you use your travel document as an identity because you don't carry it all along. But that national identity card you can carry it anywhere. If by the time we get to security, social security system, the numbers given there will also become an individual number for whatever purpose that will happen. But for a country that is yet to know the population, this is the best way for us to really know our real population. Not the census where while some people count their fish in the rivers, Others, they say they count their goats and their trees. This one, if we carry it right, we will know the real population. The last census that was taken, many states have to go to court because they felt they were undercounted. And indeed, in the process, many people could not use the machines given to them. And in the process, they really discounted many people. But this is a perpetual program. You may want to finish with some of us, but that every day we give birth. So which means the registration of that. And I hope this is not only national identity card, but it can also register death yes. in the process. Yes. Because people have to be, as they die, yes. we should be able to strike them off the ID card thing. And I, I believe that, believe me, that we'll be able to know who we are, the quality, because I saw in the question asking about the highest qualification that one has reached. So we'll even know the quality of the population that we have and what we need to do to take care of the deficit of those who have not been to school at all, those who need particular training, and every state should be able to have that by the time we finish this exercise. So for me, it is very important. Whatever assistance that you need, we should be able to give you so that at least neither state, being the first one that you did for the governor, should also be the first state that we should be able to finish without any problem. I have the, 
I have the Chief of Staff here, the Secretary to the Government, and the Head of Service, as well as the Commissioner of Information. The six of them, what issue you need, the Secretary to the Government, or the Chief of Staff to be involved. And I think we must prepare, because there may be some places where there will be no light. No, for me, this is one of the most important programs that we must pursue to its logical conclusion because this is what will help us really to know the population of this country, to also know the quality of the population of this country, to help us in terms of census and voting. And that census now will now, will, will now become a normal thing because we already know by the time we register everybody, we already know the population of a particular place. So a census will only be like a reconfirmation of what we have had in, in a particular place. And also for election purposes, we will have known, for example, they are starting with 16 uh, years old up to whatever. So that is the almost the voting age of 18. We will have known how many people at a particular time will be 18 and what have you. If we are able really to succeed in this one, many of our problems will have been wiped away. 
because there will be no question of who is counting fishes and who is counting trees, who is counting uh, uh, goats. And also there will be no this pressure that we are putting on census because everybody seems to make it political, seems to make it see it as an economic thing that the more population you have, the more money you may get. But at least we need to understand this. And it also helps you as a Nigerian now to have your identity card so that when we come, whatever policy we will come up with, these numbers that have been generated are randomly generated so everyone will have his own number personal to him. So like they use social security numbers in other places, this will also become our own social security number. Okay, Thank you. Is there any possibility of the meeting of by 2014? Uh, no, I'm, I, I think this is a continuous thing because people die, people uh, are, are born. So, but maybe the deadline for the 2014 is to make sure that all the ones that are on the ground now, but it's not possible, whatever is done, I don't think in the next six months we'll be able to finish it. Thank you. Sir.